Let me show you a secret world, the stuff that dreams are made of. They're little people with full-sized hearts. There's nothing to be afraid of. You may not see them, but they're right here, up each day at the crack of dawn, hurrying busily all around you. Hi, I'm glad you came back. David will be here in a moment. But first, I thought it would be nice to show you around our house. You've probably never seen a gnome's house. And now come and see our living room. It's really the kitchen, but we spend most of our time here while I'm working at the stove. David always keeps me well supplied with firewood, and over it we keep a basket of fragrant pine branches to make the room smell nice. To light the fire in my stove every morning, I use some thoroughly dry fungus, see? It grows on the beech trees in the mountains. Two flint stones will start the fire in a jiffy. This door on the right leads to the bathroom. The bathtub is wrought iron and we fill it with buckets of hot water. The shower is rainwater stored in a tank in the attic. I'm swimming in the rain, just swimming in the rain. Oh. When we're through, the water goes down through the drain, way underground. Our mirror is highly polished silver. Our bedrooms are like cupboards set right into the wall. Oops, I haven't made the bed. Well, let's move on to the cuckoo clock. It was a gift, too. Every known bridegroom gets one when he takes a wife. Lisa? <coughs> I just received a telepathic message. I have to go to Italy immediately. A little girl in the royal court is very oh. sick. <coughs> now, I'm all ready. I hope you get there in time. Bye. Goodbye, and be careful. I will, dear. I'm sure you'd rather follow David than stay here with me. Goodbye now. Now, what's become of Swift? <whistles> Take me to Italy and step on it. This must be the place. Boy, they don't call you Swift for nothing. Thanks a lot. I just hope we got here in time. Please wait for me here. I'll see you soon. I guess this is the entrance. Halt, what do you want? To see the sick child. Oh. <laughs> here I am. What is Is this the patient? Unconscious, and we haven't been able to find out the cause of her illness. We've tried everything, but with no success at all. No, 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 whatsoever. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's see. Fever? Next, I'll check her pulse. Her breathing. And the pupils of her eyes. Hmm. I think I know what the problem is. Has she eaten anything unusual lately? Uh, perhaps her parents can tell you. Uh, they're farm gnomes who live out in the country. Aha! That's it! She's been poisoned by one of those pesticides they use on farms. Men use chemical products to kill insects, but they use too much. They're polluting everything. They're poisoning themselves little by little. But of course, the effect is much worse for a small creature like a gnome, especially a little child gnome. Can you remember what she ate on the day she first became ill? It must have been a strawberry. We had taken her for a walk in the forest. Let's have a rest. <sighs> Luigi, remember how we used to walk here when we were Gina's age? The air was so fresh and pure then, and everything seemed to smell a whole lot better. <laughs>
kidnapped her. We brought her by express pheasant courier directly to the royal court where the best doctors in the country have attended her, but they haven't been able to revive her. Oh, doctor, do you think you can save her? It was all my fault. Now mom. keep calm. You mustn't blame yourself. It was an accident. Right now, the oh. best thing you can do is think good thoughts. I'm sure she'll hear them. His Majesty the King. My dear David, I've come to see if I can help you in any way. Have you found out yet what's the matter with this poor child and how to cure her? She must breathe the fragrance of a certain rare flower or she'll die. Oh, Doctor, please tell us what this plant is and we'll go and get it for her. It's the shining begonia. It can be found only on a small island in a lake in the Alps, which is guarded by a gigantic and dangerous snake. No one has ever managed to get past that serpent. Oh, my husband and I will brave any danger to save our poor little girl. Oh, what loving parents. Oh, but Your Majesty, surely this is a job for us doctors. Ah, uh, yes, that's very reasonable. But Your Majesty, only I know where to find it, so I must be the one who goes to get it. That's even more reasonable, David. I guess you have to go. Don't worry, my precious. I'll get you the shiny begonia. You take good care of that child. Bye. Right. I'll be right back. <coughs> Let's go swim. <laughs> where the Alps begin, Swift. We're almost there. Let's go. Aha! That's the island, Swift. The only place in the world you can find the shining begonia. Wait for me here, Swift. I've got to figure out some way to get to the island without getting caught by that serpent. <laughs> that handsome fox is my friend Swift, who will carry me over to the island. While we're gone, I want you to pretend you've been hurt and distract the serpent's attention away from us. I'll put this bandage on your leg to make it more convincing. Boy, I sure hope this works, or we're going to be snacks for a snake. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> an Academy Award. That serpent will never see us if we go now. Try to swim very quietly. to get through there. We'll have to go around. Hmm. 
Let's go that way, toward those thorn trees. I'm afraid you'd get hurt in there, Swift. Wait for me. believe it, it's Pot. So far from home and still trying to make trouble. Hey, what a surprise. Uh, we're on a very important mission. Sure you are. Just try to get by. Please, Pot, let us pass. We're in a hurry. It's a matter of life and death. First answer a question for you. What's a nice gnome like you doing in a place like this? I came to pick this flower on the island in the lake. Oh, I've been around Swift here, ring around the foxy, and speed her like a foxy. The snake that guards the lake is a cousin of mine. I'll ask him if he gave you permission to come here. But first, we'll have a dancing contest. A better, a better dancer than you are. I haven't got time for your foolishness. Now take that spell off Swift's feet. All right, then, but for an important decision like that, I'll have to consult with Holler and the others. They'll be coming right through that pass over there. I think they said a week from Thursday. In the meantime, let's get on with the dance. Oh, you're wonderful, Pot. You didn't tell me you were such a good dancer. <laughs> huh? Did you mean that? You really think I danced Oh, well? yes, but it's too bad you don't know any of the new <laughs> dance steps. How would you know the new dance steps? Where did you learn to do them? Oh, in my travels around the world. Listen, David, would you teach me some modern dance steps? How long would it take to learn? Oh, for you, Pot, only a few minutes. Did you know that if trolls are caught in the direct rays of the sun, they turn into stone? Well, are you going to teach me or not? Now, don't be impatient, Pot. As you can see, I don't know the first thing about dancing. Just follow me, Pot, and try to imitate everything I do. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
You're doing fine, Pot. You've got a lot of style. Why are we stopping? Let's go. I can do that. <laughs> Only a few seconds to go. <laughs> are so stupid they'll believe anything you tell them. <laughs> By tomorrow night, he'll turn into old nuisance pot again. <laughs> I'm back. Ooh. How is she now? Any improvement? I'm afraid she's taking a turn for the worse. She's scarcely breathing. I'm afraid she isn't going to last much longer. I'm sorry, David. I guess you've arrived too late to help her. Don't give up. Where there's life, there's hope. We must always be optimistic. I think she'll be all right now. I managed to get her prescription filled. Oh. <laughs> My dear. Mm, the shining begonia. puts on the table until you learn what safe to eat. <laughs> In two or three days, you'll be completely well again, and you won't even remember this bad time. Goodbye, my <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you, David. <laughs> no trouble at all. Bye, and slits fight. Those rambunctious reindeer again, fighting as usual. Except this time, they've really got themselves into a fix. It's David to the rescue, but along the way, there seems to be a problem with a baby troll. Now, how did that baby get out there? Should David save him? Find out what David does right here next time. Make sure to watch The Baby Troll.